Welcome to our channel. I hope you would be blessed by today's message. Apostle Joshua Selman would be highlighting a very important message today. In this video Apostle was talking about the values of relationship and why you should cherish people who are sincerely there to carry your burden for you in your time of need and avoid toxic relationships that would hurt you eventually. Please don't forget to like, drop a comment, subscribe for more messages and share to friends and family. There are many of you, there is nobody who is special in your life. Nobody is worth your commitment. There is nobody who can make you wake up in the night to answer their call or pray for them. You believe you are a disciplinarian. I sleep by 12 midnight and not even Jesus Christ wakes me. If you continue like that, you will not go far. Can I tell you, when it has to do with the world of men, there are positive compromises. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I left you with a thought when we discussed on relationship. Let me bring it to you again. Is there anyone in your life today who sees you to be so valuable and useful to them that if you call for help of any sort, if it is within their power, they will stand up without question and come to you. If you don't have at least one of such kind of person in your life, I assure you by God, you are sitting on a time bomb. No matter how anointed, no matter how enlightened. In this world, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. Is there somebody who can cry with you when you are crying? Not that you beg the person to cry with you. He came on his own volition to say, I love you too much. Your pain is my pain. Great leaders will tell you that part of the things that make them excel is that they may not have money, but they have the wealth of men. Genuine and sincere men. I'll tell you a little story now. I'm sure he's going to be embarrassed about um, pastor here. I remember one time I was going to go and preach and it was a huge sacrifice. I was to stop by at Enugu, just do two, three hours or so, preach and then head to connect with another conference in Port Harcourt. It was so inconveniencing, but then I needed to push through because of the honor that I had for that man of God and that father of faith. And when I remember, when I got in, I was, you know, so exhausted. And uh, please don't, don't feel embarrassed. This dear man, you see, when I tell you he's a good man, he really is a good man. Put together his team. It was even his team that went and picked me from the airport. I just went to rest a bit. And as I was preaching, he came for the program. When I finished, this man was with me all around. This is, for those of you who know House on the Rock very well, respectfully speaking, this is one of the men who has raised many of the leaders in House on the Rock. <laughs> Profound humility. Hallelujah. I was so humbled and broken that day. I didn't know how to tell him, Pastor, please, your boys are here. You go back. And he escorted me right to the base of the aircraft to leave. Can I tell you this? I have learned by experience, not everybody thinks you are a big deal. So when you find people who think you are that important, don't trivialize them. Because it is not everybody who thinks you are that special or deserving of honor that much. Let me give you a kind advice. When you find people in your life who are sincerely interested in your life and your well-being and love you sincerely with no strings attached, let me tell you, don't be ashamed to invest in those relationships. Are we learning? There are some people who may not have money to give you man of God, but you can be sure that every time you cry, they are there. How do you throw such people out of your life? When Jesus Christ was on his way to go and die, I taught you during Easter, where was the woman with the issue of blood who cried? Where was the man at the, the entrance of Jericho, the blind man? You thought all these people haven't received from Jesus. Are you learning that it's not enough to be valuable? As powerful as it was Jesus gave them value but now when he was headed for the cross they all left him 
but there was a stranger who supposedly appeared from nowhere simon of cyrene he said i will not let you cry i cannot die for the world but i can help the one who can die back then in zaria i don't watch a lot of movies unfortunately i don't have the time but i did a teaching in in zaria then i remember and i love this movie called lord of the rings i think it seems to be one of my best movies simply because um i, I just love anything that shows the laws of life in place right and there was a gentleman the ring bearer the there was you won't believe that all my love for that film is because of one scene so don't think i've never been able to watch it from start to finish so don't even think that i know what i'm saying <laughs> praise god are we together but the one scene that the ring bearer was on his way to go and do his due diligence based on prophecy and he had this faithful friend and the friend made one statement called sam the friend said i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you ah when i saw that one i said this is it this is a revelation that is scriptural question please look up there are burdens that you have in your life dear leader dear man of god are there people who can carry you while you carry that burden what betides a man who is left alone carrying the burden of your vision with people who are in your life just to pray on your gifts and go back they pray on your revelation pray on your anointing and once they have everything question are there people in your life who if you don't provide any value for they will still stay because they will tell you i'm not here for it i am here for you may god make you such a person then may God bring such people to your life. Don't let another day go by without giving your life to Christ if you haven't done so already. Remember to put God first and you would never be last.